a two-year period, Phil Parsons won five races on the International Sedan Series. Allison slips by as Parsons drops way down low, and Bobby passes trouble in turn number two. We have cars spinning off of turn number two and hitting the inside wall, and at least two other cars now involved here. The number 61 is involved. Bob, there is significant damage to the outside retaining wall. I think somebody has hit the wall very hard. There is some debris on the racetrack. Uh, we cannot see the car, which was the primary car involved. I think he's right down on the bottom uh, of the exit of turn number two, but someone has hit very hard up there. There is the remains, it appears, of the front uh, fender and bumper, and you can see the debris littering in the exit of turn number two. The front end or the back end, one end of that car has been ripped completely off. Uh, the safety crew is right now checking with the driver, oh. driver, somebody hitting very hard coming out of turn number two. Kind of hard to say whether the car is uh, facing toward the first or the, uh, the fourth turn. The car involved is Bubba Nissen, number 95. He's moving around, Bob. Yes, he is, as a matter of fact. Uh, it is the front end of the car. Now we can see very clearly Bubba has been able to uh, get his uh, helmet off, it appears, and is moving around in that car. But... Boy, he did hit very, very hard right off of turn number two, just as uh, as you go uh, straighten out to go down the back stretch. There is a, there is a, uh, a separation between steel guardrail and uh, cement guardrail, and he hit just as the uh, Armco steel barrier ends and the uh, concrete begins. Bubba is one of the young drivers in late model sportsman racing. We're gonna be delayed for quite some time. You can see he punched a hole literally in the Armco steel right there. Uh, also broke uh, a couple of railroad ties that support the Armco. They had this problem on Thursday. Uh, Rick Baldwin, a young California driver, crashed in practice and it did uh, delay their proceedings for quite some time. We are talking about Bubba Niss. It looks like he may also have smashed some of the cement that uh, begins to pick up the wall protecting the spectators there in the back stretch. Bubba is a guy that uh, many people are, are looking at with uh, who feel they have a great deal of potential. There is Bubba's helmet appears on the racetrack, but of course that is something he may have removed himself after the car was uh, bouncing off the wall. Again, we did see Bubba moving around inside that race car. There is the end of it. Uh, no way of telling what happened, but uh, there is the debris of Bubba's car littering the racetrack and several other competitors driving over the debris. And I'm sure we've got some flattened tires. Bubba Nissen, a driver whom we saw finish second in an ESPN televised race a year ago, involved in this major crash. Here is the end of that crash. Is car number 61, who was trailing along behind uh, all those other drivers. Make that number 14. Uh, that, that was a substitute car uh, for Ronnie Silver. Ronnie, of course, uh, qualified here yesterday, and his car broke down, and the NASCAR officials allowed him to enter another car at the last minute here. It will be a considerable length of time before the debris is cleaned up and before the guardrail is repaired. They must repair that before we start again. 